Hello, Leo, and Happy New Year! Welcome to your January 2021 Intuitive Energy Forecast. My name is Lisa Lyle. This is my channel here on YouTube. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button. And at the end of this video, drop a comment down below and give me a thumbs up. Those small things that you do really support the content creators that you appreciate and enjoy here on YouTube. And so thank you for your support. I'm going to get right into it because I want to get these out. It is now January 2nd. I did start these on December 31st. So we are going to start, Leo, with checking in to see which chakra is uh, calling out for your attention this month. So Leo. Leo. Energetically, January 2021 is setting up to be quite energetic. <laughs> thanks to um, planetary alignments and what's going on in the sky above us. So this month is really about, look at this, really about you um, focusing on taking care of your physical body, taking care of your emotional, spiritual, and um, emotional, spiritual, and physical needs. And for you, the chakra that is um, most active this month or, or really wanting to open up more for you is your third eye chakra. I'm really drawn to the number here. It's number 36, so that comes to a nine. And so this is really about, I feel like this is about wrapping up. It's a, it's, it's a completion, if you will. And yes, obviously, we've moved into a new calendar year. So there's that. This is more than that. I feel like there are, perhaps it, there's some loose ends in your life. Perhaps you're carrying over some baggage and some heaviness from 2020 really work with the energy this month um, and work with your connection to nature this month to clear things up because we really want to lighten up in 2021. And 2021 really offers us each an opportunity to, um, <laughs> like I have ears with these drums, um, really offers us an opportunity to get clear on who we are, um, and, and what it is that we, we want to do as sovereign beings of um, creation. And so for you this month, I feel like you're really, like your intuition is strong. And I'm being guided to say to you, Leo, pay attention to it. Do not disregard your inner knowing. Do not disregard your, yeah, your inner knowing and those nudges you get to take action um, or to do certain things, really, really follow through and know that um, at the end of the day, you only answer to you, right? Um, and, and to uh, creator, if you will, mother, father, God, whatever you choose to call that energy. So let's tune in and see what message the angels, gods, and goddesses have for you this month, Leo. If you're interested in a personal uh, 2021 energy forecast, I am um, still taking bookings for those. And you can find a link in the comments uh, in the description box below. And these are um, month by month. You'll receive a minimum of 12 videos, which will, will be put into a private playlist just for you. So you can um, just watch, you know, each month as it comes. I have a lot of clients that like to do that. Just watch it on the first of the month or watch the whole thing and then revisit it throughout um, the year as you go. So if that sounds like something that you would um, like to gift yourself this year, please check the description box below. And so remember uh, the first card. So you've got the angel of clearing and I was saying it felt like you were carrying some heaviness with you into this year. So this is a month to like perhaps clear your home space, do a big deep clean, um, move things around. I, I love to, um, I've actually recently just moved my, my room. Um, so really moving things around really can shift greatly the energy and the flow of energy through our homes. So perhaps it's it's time that you did a deep clean and, and maybe even a spring clean, um, closets, cupboards, this kind of stuff. 
I also feel like some of um, this is clearing yourself. So if you are, if you have carried heaviness over or density from 2020, which was a pretty dense year, what I'm feeling is like, you know, January would be a good month to do um, a liquid fast. So water and herbal teas, you know, and I'm, I'm feeling like a three day fast. Um, if you've never done a fast before, you may want to you know, just start with a 24 hour fast. But I really feel that this is going to help lighten up your body. Because for some of you, I don't feel like you've been really paying attention to and um, caring for your body as you could and perhaps as you should. I mean, there are no hard and fast shoulds in this in this world. Um, but I do feel I also feel what I'm feeling as I connect with this is like working with the energy of fire. Um, so perhaps there's things that maybe you need to burn and like write, write it out and then burn it so that, um, you know, the fire that it can be transformed through fire, cleared through fire, and then you can rise from the ashes as the Phoenix does. I'm really sensing that there is a need for some self-acceptance here and unconditional love knowing that you are a perfect and divine child of creation and there's nothing wrong with you. Um, I really do. It is strongly coming through this idea of unconditional love. So how are you treating yourself on a daily basis? Um, what are the things that you're saying to yourself on a daily basis? Um, really paying attention to that and paying attention to how your words, your actions, what you ingest, how it affects your physical body. Because there does feel, um, you know, not only am I feeling a need for some space clearing, I'm feeling the need for some clearing of your physical vessel. And, and even working with your breath can support tremendous, um, uh, can support clearing through your body. So like you may be feeling blocked. So I always like to feel into my body and wherever I'm feeling tightness or pain, I work with my breath, send my breath to that space to create some movement. What's going on, Luna? Come here. Um, okay. So let's tune in and see what the ancestors have for you. A message from your ancestors for Leo. Ah, the white witch, be the light. <sighs> yeah, it, like, again, it's just confirmation of what um, I've been feeling. It's like there's a density, a heaviness that you've been carrying around. And I feel like you've kind of um, dragged it into this year with you when it was really meant to be left um, in the past, left behind. Life is lived in the present moment um, and past, present and future all merges here and now. And so we really want to get into that state where we are in the present moment. We are with each breath. If we're feeling down dep and depressed, we're in the past. If we're feeling anxious and uncertain, we're in the future. But when we focus on our PowerPoint, which is here in the moment, we are peaceful. And so I, I'm feeling really guided to say you are wise beyond your belief. This feels like a merging of the masculine and feminine energy here. And I'm also feeling like, you know, um, I do feel like owls, because I'm, I'm connected with this owl here. And owls, you know, are nocturnal. We have the hawks in the daytime that hunt in the area where the owls do at night. And I'm really feeling like there, there's a call for some balance here, Leo. Um, you know, you're ruled by the sun. And, um, you know, it's like, I, it's funny because just with cancer, I was saying balance out the, the day and night. And I'm, I'm feeling the same for you here. This need for more balance. Perhaps you're a bit of a night owl and you're up all hours of the night. And, you know, see if there's things that you can do to bring more balance, um, more rest, more joy, um, to ignite that inner fire, to um, fan the flames of your heart's desire. And if you're someone who's like up all night and um, 
you know, you got a lot going on in your head, thinking, 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 um, you know, because when we, having this third eye chakra here, third eye is like our vision, our intuition, our, our dream time. And I feel like your guides, your higher self will have an easier time communicating and connecting with you when you rest um, and, and to pay attention to your dreams. But if you're up all night worrying and fretting about things, um, you're probably walking through your days quite um, dazed <laughs> and perhaps a little bit confused and, and just, you know, so much going on in your brain, you can't really feel into the present moment, which is, is, is beautiful and abundant and, you know, so many gifts and opportunities for you, um, especially with your third eye open or wanting to open. Perhaps some of you, your third eye is not open, and this is a call to decalcify your pineal gland, your third eye, and open it up. So the one of the um, easiest ways to do that is stop using toothpaste with fluoride in it, because fluoride actually calcifies your third eye, which is meant to be pliable and malleable, like plasticine, but with fluoride, it actually becomes like a bone fragment in your head and you know um, I always say third eye blind <laughs> you know um, so really get rid of the fluoride um, fluorinated toothpaste and go to some of the more natural products that don't have fluoride in it um, I do understand that a lot of the water supply worldwide has got fluoride in it which is actually a neurotoxin um, and, and so if you must drink um, um, municipal water working with shungite I don't have any handy here but I do somewhere anyways working with shungite and placing it in your water bottle um, and and that really does a great job of purifying the water so for some of you that may be what the call is for you this month is to decalcify your pineal gland and you can also work with um, amethyst on your third eye and for those of you who may be just going to decalcify your pineal gland, know that sometimes there is a, some pain that um, comes with that process as it breaks down the calcification in that area. Um, so making sure you're drinking lots of water. Again, you know, I like to do this a lot and just, um, you know, complete darkness and then see if you can see if I can breathe into that space and begin to connect with the color within that space okay um, next we're going to connect with um, your higher self as connected to Lemuria so the idea with working with this deck this month is to really connect you with the most ancient um, high vibe aspect of yourself and calling that forth into the here and now so that you can really uncover your gifts that you um, intended to carry over from that lifetime into the here and now. So let's see for Leo. a while but we got it we got number 51 so it's a six and this card is called the sound of the universe <clears throat> working with sound um, whether it's singing bowls tuning forks whether it's your own voice and chanting singing sound um, sound is really beneficial and um, I love when I'm uh, doing sound healings and stuff they're so unique to each individual and so I feel for some of you too and the fact that <clears throat> we brought up the pineal gland perhaps looking online and seeing if you can find a sound healing that supports the opening of the pineal gland for you um, this is about number six and this is really feeling to me like what are you here to do what is your divine path of service are you on it are you following it or are you wishing that you could be on your path of service? This is the month I'm hearing of wish fulfillment for you, Leo. What is it that you would like to do? And what steps can you take in your daily life to 
um, manifest your heart's desires in the here and now. For some of you, I feel like some of you are sound healers. And so this is the gifts that you're meant to open and connect with in this lifetime um, to, to first um, uh, share and support and, and bless yourself with, and then perhaps to bless the greater, um, the collective of humanity. So let's see what the guidebook says here. Um, So it says, life-changing experiences, glimpsing the great mystery, significant timing, pivotal moments, the Sri Yantra, the tuning fork of universal consciousness, music, transcending mundane reality. This card signals, signifies those pivotal moments that transcend belief, remind us of a greater reality, and influence us so that life will never be the same again. When I started channeling paintings, I explored sacred geometry by including it as a key element in my creations, without knowing much about its meaning. When I looked up the symbol of the Sri Yantra, this right here, so working with that, perhaps meditating with that as well will be helpful to you, Leo. Um, I was blown away. It symbolizes the sound of the universe. This painting was crucial for me as it was my make or break decider for whether I could fulfill my dream as a painter. It was also significant as I crashed my car trying to steady the painting and momentarily taking my eyes off the road. The events that followed delivered the most spiritual growth, growth I had experienced in this lifetime. Up until that point, interestingly, this piece, <laughs> this piece has also vanished. The Sri Yantra is a powerful symbol described as the tuning fork that connects us to the universal consciousness. It is present in those aha moments, the fragments of time when life as we know it falls away to reveal a place outside um, of the mundane. It brings a sense of awe and overwhelms and yet feels so right that it jolts us back to our core for deeper remembering. It allows us to fathom our limitlessness. This card is also about music as a sacred tool. It speaks of the importance of having a soundtrack for our journey. Music was an essential aspect of ceremony in Lemuria as it bridged the gap between matter and non-matter. Even in, even in this dimension, music opens the portals to an array of feelings and atmospheres. Bring more music into your life and expand your experience and shift your sense of ordinary reality. Is there just a flash there? I thought I saw one. So the divinatory meanings of this card are having your world shaken up even a little can invite a deeper glimpse of the great mystery of your life. There are a myriad of ways to peek behind the veil of the mundane world, a static dance, spiritual exploration, and intuitive creative pursuits are just a few. Aim to naturally imbue this awareness in your everyday existence so you can avoid the sudden wake-up calls. Wake up to the hidden music, harmony, and wonder of your multi-dimensional world. So let's tune in. Let's tune in and see what affirmation wants to work with Leo this month. Ah, oh, this is perfect, Leo. Perfect. Um, so that you can work with it this month. You can work with it for the entire year if you like. It's a number 41 and it's called the unknown. 41 is 5, which is the same frequency and vibration of what 2021 is. The year of change. Um, and the year of really positive changes. Because it's, it's like I, I, I'm being guided to say the year of remembering who we truly are which are sovereign beings. So your affirmation here, this is so beautiful. I love this card. The little bird um, with the owl. You guys already had the owl here. I do feel like getting out to nature, the, um, the birds are going to be speaking to you. So pay attention. Um, and your affirmation is, I bow to the infinite intelligence of the cosmos and my next steps are revealed. 
I bow to the infant, infinite intelligence of the cosmos and my next steps are revealed. I bow to the infinite intelligence of the cosmos and my next steps are revealed. So Leo, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Drop a comment down below. Thank you so much for being here. I look forward to connecting with some of you for 2021 forecasts. And I wish you all an abundantly blessed year of um, joyful co-creation in your sovereignty. Until next month, Leo, take good care.